Daddy's Dungeon. Daddy's what? The fuck is Daddy's Dungeon? Daddy's, Daddy's Dungeon. <laughs> Daddy's fucking dungeon. All of you! Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? <laughs> I'll drive, you drive? I'll drive. Okay. Let's go now. How far is it away? It's like 35 minutes away. It's a good amount. It's a good, it's a good Hello, it's a good ladies drive. and gentlemen. Welcome back to Daddy's Dungeon Podcast. Um, we're, we're, we're discussing um um right now. Not, gotta take the sticker off. Can't give off any fucking. No fucking free plugs here. No free plugs. Shout here. out Liquid Death though. Shout out Hydro Flask. Um. Shout out, <laughs> shout, shout out Mexicali Candy. Actually, as a matter of fact, we bought the shit. Yeah, I got the shit at the fucking uh, six to six line market. Is it good though? Um, I don't know. I haven't tried it. Live reaction. Live reaction. Sorry if 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 he doesn't like, he's gonna tell you straight up too. You get so. a bad review. <laughs> I'm not a candy I'm not a candy professional by all means you are this is all you eat all day this is all I eat all day but I'll tell you right off the bat I'm not going for the orange you're not an orange I'm not an orange guy if you if, if, got the red one what would you grab the red one I'm gonna go red green blue red green blue these are gushers fucking Mexican gushers yeah. south of the border gushers thoughts ASMR. ASMR, we love this shit. <laughs> oh, dude, these are... Hold on. I haven't bitten into them then. That's when they really give you the juices, you know? Yeah, usually when you... You know what I'm saying? These are dank. Okay, so shout out Mexicali. Uh, Sh- totally shout out Mexi- Mexicali Candy. Mexi- Mexicali Candy. Shout out. Wherever you're from. Hey, she was about it, too. She was like, these are 15, these are 5. Which one do you want? Yo, yo, yo. 15, though? Let me see. Let me see. A little steep for my liking. There's 10 servings in here. So that means there's 220 grams of fucking gummies in here. Now, if they were little special gummies, that's a different story. But these are little special gummies, actually. But <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> Not the other ones. Yes. They're they're awesome, though. Yeah. Yo, I, I love the uh, Brandon and everything. It's sick really literally like at that at the night market it was pretty packed but everything we got was just kind of mid bro except for two fucking things we had bone marrow bone marrow dude it was dank how was that at how was was it how was that set up so like they get it from a cow i don't know what bone they get they cut it in half and inside's all the marrow they boil it and they skim the fat off the top with like a really fine like sifter I guess and they just skim it off they take it out and they grill it on the on the on the charcoal grill and then I got like the garlic steak or uh, garlic mushroom garlic mushroom bone marrow yeah so like it was the bone marrow and they had like sauteed garlic and mushrooms and then put it on top so does it kind of is it kind of like just brothy or is it kind of thick no, like so there's bone marrow broth this is literally like a like a stick thing like a dog bone okay and inside is like fat but is it is it chunky kind of like chowder and shit or it's like, like it's like jello consistency it's like when you bite into it it just melts in your mouth that's a that's all i can describe it as it just melts you don't there's no chewing it just melts it's just soft and buttery it's fucking so good that was one of the best things i had there is that expensive i feel like that's expensive oh yeah it was like 25 bucks for like one little thing. Okay, hold on though, hold on, hold on. And it comes with garlic toast? Ooh, Wait, dead, but yeah. I know that typically those little night markets Are tend more, to boost yeah. their prices. Yeah, you know but I, mean? I feel like bone marrow is more expensive. Typically at like restaurants? Do oh. they even serve that at restaurants? Fancy has restaurants, for sure. Oh, it's expensive. You know like when you get like uh, any kind of type of caldo and like there's the bone and you're like, your dad will like suck out the bone? Yes, yes, yes. Have you sucked out the bone? No. That's the bone marrow. They don't, it doesn't get my attention. They don't let you, just your dad? He just gets all the bones? It doesn't get my attention, really. I never really, I mean, I never really saw it as a, something I would suck. You know what so I mean? you know what I'm talking about, right? It's like like that. It's like a circle. Yeah, totally. And it's like this thick, like your mom would put it in the caldito. Uh-huh. And you just go, no. suck it out. That's the bone marrow. Maybe I, got, I got to try it. Yes, you? yes. Dude, I have it's, to catch that. It's dank. In the pot. Yes. 
Get it, get it for your dad does. <laughs> <laughs> Bet you he sucks. I suck a right up. <laughs> oh, that's fucked up. <laughs> no, but uh, and then it was like I, I remember I told you already, but well, I'm just there in line. I'm trying to get this uh fucking fried squid. That was pretty good. There was like shit that was like this is okay, and then there was pretty good. And then there was like, this was fucking really good. But so, all expensive. <laughs> all expensive. So we had, I had, was in line ordering this giant squid and I just ordered it. And I look over, I was like, yo, big ass truck shirt, sick. And then I look up, I was like, oh fuck. And he's like with a customer. And then the second she leaves, I was like, oh, excuse me, sir. And he goes, oh shit, what's up, bro? Hell and then he yeah. was like, hey, come around back. We'll get you some food. So I was like, I'm going to let me get this shit first and I'll meet you back there. And it was sick. So what, what was it again? It was like, a, I think it's Korean. They have like this onion pancake. It's like a, it's like a tortilla kind of. Korean. Korean. So they put like a bunch of like veggies in like a, in a savory pancake mix, and it makes like a tortilla, and you just rip it off and eat it. But what they did was, they put shit inside of it to make it kind of like a taco. Is it like a pita consistency? No, it's thinner. Think about like a pancake, oh, very okay. thin, like a crepe, like a thin crepe. Oh, you ever had a gotcha. crepe? Yes. It's like that, but with veggies inside. Save it's a savory pancake, okay? And then he was like, "You like spicy?" I was like, "Yeah, I like spicy." And he's like, "Okay, so we have this duck, duck and mole, with serrano peppers, that was fucking dank." And then I took a bite of the serrano pepper. Fuck, it was spicy. It was spicy. What's your challenge, baby? I was fucking. And thank God, because he's like, you guys want anything to drink? And I said, I'll take water, because we got a long drive. Fuck, I chugged both those waters. It was fucking, it was hot. Oh, you were sweating, huh? But the duck was dank. And then he was like, you want another one? And he asked my girl, and then she's like, mm. But I remember I saw one that said banh mi, and that's like a Vietnamese, like, sandwich. And I was like, I want that one. That was the best thing we had there the whole, the whole night market. Really? Yeah. Like, my girl, she ate it, and she was like, her eyes were closed, chewing it, like, Fuck, dude, it was so good. Maybe it's Vietnamese. My mouth was watering. I'm th- I've been thinking about those candies for the past three minutes. So, <laughs> I th- I think he's Hispanic because of how he said, like, Serrano and, like, mole. Oh, yeah? It just sounded like... Remember how, like, when we went to Kentucky and you said burrito? And they're like, you speak Spanish? <laughs> dude, that's right, dude. Oh, my God. That's, I got the same vibes. <laughs> but, but typically, it's like, it's like they'll, they'll just do that because they think I'm white. You know what I mean? And, but can you say burrito? Burrito? Burrito. Yeah, so you say it's so different. Burrito, por favor. Can I have a burrito, please? Can I have a burrito? I don't know. It's just kind of like, boom. Yeah, instinct. I know. So, I got that vibes. But, uh, yeah, the, the market was cool. Like, 12 bucks a ticket. We were, like, the first people there. And you got to pay to get in? 12 bucks. Well, 12 bucks a park. twelve fifty for a ticket. And then... You had all these food options, which it was cool, bro. Like we got like these margaritas, insanely strong, for like eleven bucks. But it was like insanely strong, and we're like, holy fuck, this is like crazy. So at that point, do you think you're getting what you pay for? You're really getting what you pay for? No, I think if it's insanely strong, do you think you're winning or losing? Oh, winning. You think so? Winning. Although, although, although that the the drink might not be particularly that good the drink was good it was just a little strong like you, it's still manageable I was like oh that's a but let's say it's like but that's what you want like as an alcoholic that's what you want <laughs> <laughs> but let's say it's <clears throat> over like real strong right let's just say it's real strong it's real prominent and uh at that point it's kind of not the easiest to drink see but i like like old fashions and shit like I like that. It's and that's like seven alcohols in one thing. There's no fruit or nothing. It's just bitter. That's insane. I like that. It's it's good. It's a little sipper. Yeah, I guess that's different strokes for different folks, huh? Yeah. When are you gonna start drinking again? No, no. Uh, I really don't have. I I haven't had the uh, the urge at all or the thought of ever even drinking. Again. So not even the 280 PBR was gonna do that to you? No way, dude. It was a cool box. I was like, hell yeah, that's a steal. How much was it? Like 280 for 100? 180. 180. 180 beers for $140. That's a steal. That's a steal. That's and, a steal. But no, that was not going to do the comeback. <laughs> not not happening. I thought it was sick, though. I was like, that's dope that they're putting that out there because that's sick. No, but I would just be more picky about the food we get, you know, because there's like this Filipino spot. 
and then I realized the menu, because I thought it was just a big sign they had. The whole big sign was their menu, and I was like, they got this much shit on the menu? I'm not buying it. Yeah, dude, I don't know. You're totally right. Dude, I, and it was like, it wasn't even just Filipino shit. It was just like a bunch of random shit. And it's like, get the fuck out of here. What are you doing here? Wasting my time. <laughs> Fucking. That's, they're providing options for the people. We got this giant piece of chicken. Like a like a turkey leg? No, like. Oh, it was chicken. Like, it was like a, it was like this big, like a flattened out piece of chicken. Deep like fried. Slice? Yeah. It was fucking sick. It was good. Deep fried, huh? Yeah. Like a tender in a way? Kind of just a giant. Like a, think about like a giant McDonald's chicken nugget. Oh my god. <laughs> like How big are we talking here? Like this fucking, this fucking big. Like a brick. A brick. A literal brick. Yeah, and it was like this thick all the way through. And it was juicy as fuck. It was good. You ever eat the whole thing? No, no, no. Fuck no. What kind of sauce is they giving you? Some bitch ass shit. You a sauce guy? Fuck yeah, I'm a sauce guy. And who isn't a sauce guy? But <laughs> what, what sauces are you picking? For that chicken? So they, Anywhere you go. Oh. That's a little too vague, brother. I like me a good honey mustard in a ranch. Honey mustard in a ranch? Yeah. The ranch they gave us, you know, like uh, in like high school, they gave us those ranch packets? Yes, yes, yes. You know what they taste like? You have that, you have that kind of thought in your head right now? Mm, no, I didn't really get it. That's what that ranch tasted like at the place. And I was like, this is ass. Cheap. Cheap, cheap ranch. It's like, dude, you're coming here to promote your business and you do some cheap shit. Some cheap shit, man. They're doing, uh, they're downsizing. They're <laughs> but then um, there's this one sauce that's like elite sauce. It's like a sweet chili, a sweet chili sauce. I love that sauce. I used to get it all the time. Sweet chili? Yeah. You know, like, if you ever go to, like, B-Dubs, you get, like, a Thai chili wing. You ever seen those? No, I've never seen them. Hmm. Anyways, I'll show you the bottle. It, I, I know you've seen it before at the, at the store, but that sauce is dang. Cause that sauce is good with the chicken. If that ranch was actually, like, some good ranch, like, fucking Carl's Jr.'s got better ranch than that shit. Some thick, quality ranch. Give me some wing style ranch of that. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Goddamn right. Honey mustard at Legends, that's the best honey mustard. Hands down. Honey mustard at Legends, you know, but they gotta be on top of that stuff. They gotta be switching them regularly. I'll be getting those like old ass ones. Yeah, you said that. I'd never got on that, but I don't know, dude. Like, I'm bitch at motherfucker. Bitch at motherfucker at Legends. Hey, you know that theory you had told me about, where <laughs> um, if they start putting up those signs like, oh, new shake, new whatever, do this, new that on the windows. Yeah. So they had been doing that recently, and it seems like they're still fucking cranking rolling. the numbers out. They're it's rolling. Like, rolling, rolling, rolling. So I used to watch Restaurant Impossible, and then every time he would say, yep, they're starting to put signs up. That means they're trying to fish for attention. They're fishing for it. They're, their business is not doing so good. So they're fishing for the attention with, oh, buy one, get one free, some shit like that. Just get anyone in the door, you know? Mm-hmm. So that's that's what that is about. Yeah. Kind of incent. Well, they're, I guess they're all incentives, huh? Like down by the Wiener Schnitzel, there's like a, like a little Mexican spot that does breakfast burritos. Have you seen that? It's like oh. Foothill and Grove by the Walmart, the neighborhood Walmart. I've never seen that. See, they have just like a sign there about their breakfast burritos. They're actually pretty fucking good. I ain't no cap. Breakfast burritos. What they got? What they got? I don't remember. I remember I got a, a bacon one. I begin real into the, you know those dudes that do the reviews of the places. Yeah, yeah. I begin real into going into those and finding the breakfast burritos, man. I've been I've I've been on a breakfast burrito kick recently. So there's a there's a girl that ranks every breakfast burrito, in the OC. She has like a list and everything, so she'll go to one and she'll like rank it. Uh huh. So you know what's the best. I'm looking for a specific, type of burrito. So, I'm not talking about the green burrito that was at Carl's Jr. Have you ever been to the real green burrito? No, where's that at? It's gone. But, they had one in Laverne. The best fucking breakfast burritos that we've ever had, ever. They're like, they're like that fat. They're like that big. Cheap as fuck. They closed down years ago, like, someone bought them out. Probably Carl's Jr., but they don't do it anymore. And just like, real like, thin, crispy potatoes in there with whatever fucking meat you wanted 
I want I want extra crisp. You know, it like sounds beautiful. It was like they're like this, like like a quarter inch thick, but crispy, like a nice crunch, but still soft on the inside. Put some chips in there, dude. It was those were dank. Those are the best ones. Yeah, that shit closed down. A shame. Le- that sounds legendary. It was legendary. My mouth is watering thinking about this shit. You said that was on Foothill, bro. No, no, no. So, this place was in Laverne on Foothill, like on town or off off a of fruit. It's closed down though. But this other breakfast place down the street, that's the one on Foothill and Grove. That one's they're pretty good. I'm talking about breakfast burritos in our area, like a gyms, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm not yeah. a big fan of gyms breakfast burritos. Like a little local spot. Yeah, it's like a little local spot. I think that one is better than gyms. For sure. For I, haven't, sure. I haven't tried the gyms ones. Really? Yeah. Not breakfast burrito, at least. What about Miss Class? Bleep that. Did she, we have breakfast burritos? Yeah, she like went to buy a gang of them. She was like, I didn't realize there was tax, so if you guys can give me an extra few dollars each burrito, I'd really appreciate it. And I was like, bitch, you said $5. She didn't realize there was tax? What, she don't She don't pay her goddamn taxes in this world? Huh? She, how she realized As a survivor, no I don't think you, you should have to. So... <laughs> <laughs> Hell no You pay in taxes So unfortunately We all gotta pay taxes You know how she broke Both her ankles Falling off the stairs Yes Do you think she had To pay tax on that What's what the bill Looking like for that Well her We gotta consider She's old She probably got Good benefits She's a school teacher I don't know What kind of benefits They got Well you're right You know but I mean I feel like she's a veteran in the game. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, hopefully, hopefully, they're taking care of the vets at least. Well, no, they're not. Yeah. <laughs> As we've seen in this country, unfortunately, they're not. Uh, but, um, for real, I think it's going to be a hefty fucking bill. Because for my surgery alone, it's pretty hefty. I've seen, like, my dad's, like, when he goes to the hospital, it's like a, it's like over a hundred thousand for the bill. Holy fuck! Like, I don't know how much insurance takes off. It's like most of it, but I've seen it. I remember he showed me one. I think it was like a hundred and like eighty six thousand or something. I was like, holy fuck! I was wild. It, insane, just like a three day thing, you know. Three days, boom. Was there like a hospital stay involved as well? Yeah, three days. Oh, three days! Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's insane, man. And, the, and something like that usually is like when it does happen, it's like about a week. But I've even heard that uh, you might have you might have even told me this, but I've even heard that every time, like for example, when you go when uh, someone goes into labor, so literally everything that's put into that room, oh, yeah. it's all charged. Yeah. So it's technically like all yours. No, well, yeah, I'm, so talking, like, I'm not talking the equipment and all that stuff, obviously. Like, like when I had my kid, we took all the diapers and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Give me that shit. I take the, I take the pillows and everything. God damn. Give me the give me the bed sheets. Those are mine. Oh I'm taking everything. If you're charging me for everything, I'm taking everything. Take the fucking the heated blanket. There's a heated blanket. I think they have those. They do. That's crazy. It's because hospitals are cold. I Germs love, don't like the cold. Dude, I love it. I love the fact the hospitals. Are, more buildings gotta be like that. Let's be real. Dude. More buildings fuck. gotta be like that. Where'd I walk? <clears throat> oh, so the other day, my girl just graduated college. Shout out. Respect, shout out. Shout respect, out. Respect. Respect. Congrats. Yep. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. I cried a little bit like, like, like a little bitch, but it was worth it. Just a little bit. But I went to this. I had to go pick up her friends, right? I went to go to this coffee place. Dude, it was hotter in there than it was outside. And it was already hot outside. It was like 88. Chilling. And I was like, how the fuck could it be hotter in here? You know? It's ridiculous. Where was this again? This was in Chino. Chino Hills. Yeah. It was hot as shit. Chino Hills. Man, summertime's right around the corner. It's going to get crazier. Over there in Hesperia. I don't like the heat. Shout out Slice Gods in Hesperia, California. Dank-ass pizza. You definitely got to go there again. Try it out when there's another show. How much pizza did you get? Three slices. Okay. Classic pepperoni, cheese, and 
pepperoni, pineapple, jalapeno. So do they have a bunch of pizzas out? How do they do it? They make them by hand as, as they get their orders. Oh, dude, that would have been fucked. Good thing you got there early, huh? Heck yeah. Good thing I got there early. It's a dope-ass little spot with some good-ass fucking pizza. And it's a dope environment as well. You know what I mean? The stuff they, should, the stuff they have on the walls, you know, the vibe kind of. So they're, they're playing Anchorman. They're playing um, Tropic Thunder. It looked like a little, a little spot. Oh, very little. It got super congested. And I'm going back to that AC comment. Every place needs to have cranking AC like hospitals. It was hot in there? Hot as hell. And you know me, I'm a sweater. Yeah. So I was over here sweating my balls off. And then it was the the same experience. Outside was cooler than in. You think it's because of so many people? Oh, totally. There was max capacity went through the roof. Bro, it was hot as fuck in that workshop, too. It was hot as fuck in there. Anyways, I'd like to thank our sponsor, uh, Discord. (laughs) You have seven days. You know what though? I will give it that. Th- those those um <laughs> those goddamn sales the, motherfuckers. Those rings are not as long as the ones we have today. I feel like the rings that we have are a little way too long sometimes. I had this uh there's like it's always like those one eight hundred numbers, you know, Colin. We can't have shit around here. <laughs> Hey, man, that way the people are really getting immersed in our our environment. (laughs) Dude, who the fuck is gardening on a Sunday? It's your day off, brother. Hey, never stop. Always on the grind. Never stop. You got the the work week to do that shit, man. God. Fuck. Where was that? What were we talking about? We're talking about air conditioning or some shit. (laughs) I don't think so. Dude. There's this this kid with purple hair. Do you saw that guy? He's a shorter kid with purple hair. He's at the show. He's wearing a smoke shirt. Okay, yeah. So I kept looking. I was like, fuck, I recognize this kid. I recognize this kid. I was like, I just don't know where. Like, why do I recognize this random kid from Asperia? And I remember, because, well, I didn't remember. It came up with my fucking thing. I sent it to you. He's in a fucking hardcore band up there. And I've been following them for a minute. In Asperia? Yeah. Cool. A little ass band. I don't remember, but I know they do like a Chilino Sanchez like intro. Oh, sick. Yeah. So I remember that's when I followed on. That show was sick. They do house shows all the time up there. And it's Perry, man. That was a good. That was a good turnout over there. Oh, that was huge. Crazy turnout. Moshin was fucking weird as shit. Weird ass Moshers. I had fun. Honestly, they should have did a Marrow Secret set. They were all there. A what? Marrow. Oh, you're right. You're the right. The singer, one of the guitarists, or maybe bass. I think he's bass, but and then the drummer was there too. I wonder how many more bands could have played with with everybody else. Yeah, that I know. There. And and I was thinking to myself, I was like, honestly, like with all these how these motherfuckers are, they can just fill in no problem, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, oh, hey, Sergio, can you hop in there real quick? Shout out. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, that's sick, dude. But they'd have to learn their stuff. That's I don't know, maybe they don't know their stuff. But like Abel said, he just hopped in more to one and just started, just started playing it, you know? Or is it something like, can you sub? You could substitute, right? You're obviously substitute shit. I have no idea. But then it would sound different. I'm not a. I've never played instruments, but me either. Have you ever wanted to? Bass. What's a talent that you? Well, I think I've asked you that before. Yeah. What talent would you want? If there was an instrument I'd want to play, it'd be the bass. Bass. Or the drums. Big old bass. Boom, 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 boom. No. I don't know. I feel like the bass is sick. Bass I like the bass. Badass. I like the noise it makes. You like the wominess? Yeah. Like on, the, on that new song, fucking shout out, fucking ruin. On that new song, Hesitation. That fucking, uh, I think we should cut it out. It's not gonna, by the time this episode comes out, that song's not out yet. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe they're dropping it tonight. I don't know. It's, a, it's on the 13th or the 14th. I don't know. Anywho. 
there's that one bass line in there. It's so sick. It's just dum dum dum. It's like it, it to me. It sounds like walking. It's like he's walking the strings. You know. Oh, sick. Love that part. Yeah, that's like my favorite part of the song. He's walking the strings. Yeah. Best out of the night last night for sure. You think so? I would say so. My opinion. I think it's because I I kept getting scared because I had freaking big homie Matthew like fucking coming at me, man. And side to side and shit. It's just scary. And their homie Mateo, dude, that guy fucking. He likes to hit the people. <laughs> seen them, seen them. Man, there was a lot of um, little bitch ass motherfuckers there. A lot of little fucking. There's some videos agitators. of you like, like two stepping, and they keep getting in your space, and you kept just like damn, punch them in the back and shit. I think I punched anybody. I was I was I was mistaken for a lot of people yesterday. No, I mean like you would just like fucking start shoving them and shit. Oh yes, 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 yes. Dude, why is it that? I just don't understand how people just don't get it. It's not a push pit. So there's people two-stepping, you're going in there pushing each other? It's ridiculous. Well, I don't know. It seems like... Let my art work. Yeah, I mean... Totally right. Hey, I was banging on my shins, baby. Damn, my shins. What happened? I'm just getting kicked in the shins, stuff like that. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Damn. It's not too bad, though. My shins are conditioned. I got, like, shin guards down there now. Hey, shout out fucking Rodney... That shit was sick. Cause you, was, you had mentioned that he had, like, kicked somebody and, like, knocked him down. And then I, saw, I sent you the video. Fuck, oh, dude. Tank. That, w- that would have been, been a crazy feat because where I thought I saw that blueprint, it was pretty high up on his on his shirt. That was a high kick. The tall ass motherfucker. Yeah, but overall, it was, it was sick. Somehow they got to figure out something to get some airflow in there. Open up them windows or something. That's a dope-ass skate shop, too. Yeah. And if that's your local skate shop, that's sick as fuck. They even got work boots there. I know. You saw the thorough good mat when you walk in? That was sick. Yeah. and they, they, it's uh, What skate shop got work boots? Hey, Hesperia. They're all workers up there. Hesperia. That's fucking dope. Pharmacy board shop. Shout out. In Hesperia. So that that's DJ Spot? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I don't know the specifics of it exactly, but I I b- believe he manages it or something like that. That's awesome. But it's it's dope that he has the ability to throw shows there. We need more shows in Upland. It's fucking fucking kill whoever can help us out, fucking yes sir, out. yes we sir. Want, we need more shows out here. You got a space? Say what's up. Let's do one like in like Stater Brothers. <laughs> Stater Brothers, what the fuck is up? What would, be, what would be the most legendary place to do one? Okay, so you got Denny's. Yang Chow. <laughs> Yang Chow, shout out. Hey, Yang Chow's got all the famous people going there, so yeah, that'd be pretty good. Oh, yeah. Then they'll, then they'll put all the other bands uh, on the picture on the wall as well. Denny's is the most iconic one just because of, like, it's still going around. It's still circulating, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What would be more iconic than Denny's? Like the 9-11 uh, m- memorial site or something? Oh, fuck. The portal. <laughs> that would be sick. Do it at the portal. <laughs> That'd be sick. You'll um, have two shows going on at once, the portal. Let's see. Waffle House. Maybe a Bucky's. That'd be sick, too. You see how much they're charging for, like, a, a food handler there? A what? Just someone to prep food. It's like 30 bucks an hour. Like, we're we doing little sandwiches and stuff like that? Yeah. Or what? They, Damn. They, they, well, they make a, a gang of food there. We should have went. Like a restaurant-type food, or is it kind of like wrap-up You ever seen anything stuff? about Bucky's? No, well, I just know the beaver. Apparently, they got, like, barbecue sandwiches, barbecue chicken, fried chicken. They got tons of food. Hot food. So... They give you like 30 bucks an hour to make all that shit. A real hot spot for truckers, huh? Oh, totally. We should have went. Mistakes were made. Where are those typically? Like, oh, those are Texas. That's a Texas thing. All in Texas up to where? I think that's it. Really? Texas, huh? Yeah. We, did, we didn't cross through Texas all that much. No, I know, but there was well, there's a sign that says Bucky's in like 100 miles. Oh, know? okay. I mean, thanks about to see. They, got a, they have a wall of beef jerky. Really? Bucky's, yeah, a wall, like hundreds of flavors of beef jerky. Bucky's beef jerky. That's a whole enterprise out there, baby. That's your, that's your shit right there. $30 an hour, that's pretty solid. To make like a barbecue sandwich? Heck yeah. In the back? Heck chilling. yeah, yeah dude. Sick. And shoot, if you were paying me $30 an hour to do my job at KFC, that was a dope-ass job. 
It was real quick. Wham, bam, 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 bam. You know, doing that thing, sending it out. I'd do that as a side gig, no problem. Sign me up. What else? What else happened this week? What's going on with the news and shit, man? I ain't seen nothing good. I don't watch the news. They're, the news isn't really on when I. I mean, like you don't see on. nothing going viral recently, you know. Like even the NBA playoffs not even going viral. You know, I ain't seen go- nothing on that. I don't know about you, but you know what's been really trending for me? It's the WNBA. That is on the rise. I hate that shit. It is on the rise. Bunch of hating ass. Bunch, bunch of hating ass. Bunch of hating ass bitches. women. No bitches. God damn. And them bitches. Bunch of hating ass bitches. Fucking. Bunch of hating ass bitches, man. Instead of, instead of fucking pushing her up, you over here putting her down. God damn. I know. It's it's. For what? For what? Because you oh, a hater? Oh. Huh, cause oh, you, she got the three points. Because you saw Three pointer. Oh, she got three pointer. Yeah, the thing is, Caitlyn Clark's been like relevant for years. Cause isn't like Steph Curry like been always been cool with her for like a minute. Steph Curry, who knows? Or it was Kobe. It was Kobe or Steph Curry's been real cool with her since she was like young. Really? Shoot, yeah. if it was Kobe, she she has that guy's uh fucking approval. Yeah, it was it was either Kobe or Steph. I don't remember. Damn. Or both. That's even more legendary. I think legendary. it's Kobe. I think it's Kobe. How old is she? Oh, she just fucking got out of college. Right? So so she she was associated with him when she was real young. Then, yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. Damn. Groomed her at a young age. You did it right, man. <laughs> you did it right. You did it right. <laughs> oh, you man. See, she's a, she's a good-ass player, right? Uh-huh. And the way she talks to the media, it's so fucking professional. It's a coach's... She's a PR's fucking dream. Yes, it's a coach's dream. What does PR stand for? PR? Like, you know, oh, you got to talk about a PR team. Personal record. I don't know I don't know about PR team, but I think... Um, you hitting PR's right now? I'm not hitting no PR's. I'm just having fun. <laughs> Let's go to the gym. Yeah. No PR's. I, I don't really tip... I, I haven't been tip, typically lifting real, real hey. super heavy. Uh-huh. It's going eight, like... Eight max, tip not eight max, but eight at the least. Eight what? Reps. <sighs> What's PR? What's a PR team? I don't know. Something about media. But she's just a good fucking player, and they like, but oh, they love hitting her in the paint. She can't go in the paint. No way. They're busting out the Detroit bad boys fucking shit on her. It's just blatant fucking getting hit, and it's like, hey, this is the only thing that's actually like. Giving you some relevancy right now, and you're ruining it. Yeah, yeah. Cause dude, they were saying that she could have just went to the big three. Really? And got a huge. Co- oh, so they're saying that what she's gonna do is she's gonna do her first contract with the WNBA and go to the big three and get like twice as much money, or more, get a couple million. How long? She, how long is her contract? With I have the- no idea. Probably five years or something. But it's like she could have just went to the big three. They would have given her more money. Millions you're talking here? Millions. Wow. Yeah, and the big three. You know? That's how good she is. That they're saying she can compete in that shit. I doubt it, though. She would crush up, like, what, Derek Fisher or something? Like, Nah, dude. I, I was, like, 45 now. 50. Oh, she'll totally cross them up. <laughs> totally. I would love to see that. That's a Ballers Life mixtape right there, baby. You know what she did for her teammates, though? She bought everyone on. Uh, well... Not a singular one, but uh, she bought a, a charter jet for the team. She took the whole Indiana Fever team on a charter jet. Private jet. For? Their team alone. No, no, but like for the whole season? Oh, I don't know. I just saw this, I just saw this one scenario. I don't know if it was a one-time thing or the whole season. Like imagine like you're like a professional in whatever sport you're playing, right? And you're, you're fucking flying business class. That's embarrassing. They do that. It's insane, man. That sucks, dude. But, I mean... Get your money up, not your funny get up. Get your money up, not your funny up. you goddamn right. But... Because it's like, have you ever actually watched a WNBA game? No, just, you, hi- you, just the highlights. you seen, like, college basketball? I've seen some college basketball. That's some of the worst basketball I've ever seen. Yeah, I would agree. It's 100%. like... 
Oh, pass it. Oh, she runs in the paint, misses the layup. Oh, pass it back out. And they'll just like, they did it like eight times one time. They just missed like eight layups in a row. And it's like, you wonder why it's the fucking fourth quarter. It's like 12 to 14 right now. They miss eight layups in a row every time. It seems it's like so much of a struggle. But how, how often does that happen? Is it throughout the whole game or is that kind of like... I remember I was watching a game and I was just like in awe of how bad it was. Mm-hmm. So I, I'm just basing my opinion off that. Yeah, yeah. You're like, uh, maybe maybe I will put on the PGA Tour. I'll go ahead and switch like, to that. I, you see like fucking high schoolers playing better than that shit. Oh, totally. Like, hey, how about you pass the ball and make some fucking movement? Real ball movement, real strategy. And it's everything. literally just like pass it and then they stand there. No movement at all. That's what makes a high a high value player. Lots of movement. The Spurs. San Antonio Spurs back of their head. Yeah, a lot of movement? Oh yeah, back with Tony Parker, Manager Ginobili, and freaking Tim Duncan. Small ball. Uh, well, that ain't really no small ball, baby, but they did have some killer ball movement. Best ball movement. Steve Nash. Off the ball movement? Sure, uh, Steph Curry. J.J. Redick. That too. Um, Hassan Whiteside. Oh, hell no. Get his ass <laughs> out of here. Get his ass out of here. We don't want him. We don't want him. We had him. Give him we'll give him away. We don't, we don't want him. Dude, I'm sweating. It's hot. But typically, how, how, how tall are these WNBA players? What's the tallest there is? I think it might be Brittany Garner, for real. She's tall as hell. She's Brittany Garner? The one that we got back from Russia? Brittany Griner. Griner. Hey, how tall is she? T- tall as hell. <laughs> he said the one that we got back from Russia. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I need to go to outside NBA pra- WNBA practice facilities. That sounds, find, find that sounds a, so weird. Find me a tall shoddy. You like tall shoddies? I don't know. I've never been with a tall shoddy. Open a tall shoddies. You mean like taller than you? Oh, yeah. That's kind of hard. What do you mean it's kind of hard? It's hard to find someone taller than you. You think so? Yeah. Girl, at least. Yeah. This, what's the, what's the average height? Like a, like an average height for a girl is like in the 5'3 five, to 5'5 five, five range. What about a guy? I think it's like 5'8. Five, 5'8? Eight. Five, eight? I think it's 5'7. You're a tall king. <laughs> no, I don't know. You're too fucking shorter, dude. Too fucking shorter. See, the posture the posture helps. Oh, Oh, honestly, right now... I know some slouching, but I've been on my shit. Yeah? Yeah. Especially in the car, I'd be like... Fuck yeah, the posture helps, dude. And honestly, I don't know if it's uh, something that is true or not, but it's just an idea I had. That comes into play with how your body develops muscle and everything. If uh, I, I'd probably say yeah. I feel like it just... It's the right position that you should be in, and it's the perfect placement for the muscles that grow in that area, if that makes any sense at all. That's just how I feel. High thought, definitely uh, a good theory. I can see that. I can see that. You picture old people like real slouched over like that. I don't want to be like that. They ain't buff. They ain't buff. You know what I'm saying? I wonder, like, you see old people like not being able to walk and shit. I feel like there's not going to be a lot of those in our generation. Why is that? Because, like, back in their time, the gym wasn't, like, a thing, you know? It wasn't really a big thing. Now, okay. the gym is, like, a much bigger thing than it was back in the day, if that makes sense. Yes, 100%, I agree. But I think, I mean, how how long ago are we talking? Like, think about, like, older people, like, in, in their 70s, you know? So we're going back to, like, their prime years like 20 through 40 50 mm-hmm. they weren't really going to the gym yeah yeah you know mm-hmm. you're totally right but then again we got to think about the population differences got to think about i don't know you're totally right though the stuff that was typically the dietary choices typic the average dietary choices of that time stuff like that Cause I think McDonald's now is at its highest than any fast food ever was at that time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think that has something to do with it. Would you ever want to go to London? 
Totally. Not London, just England in general. 100%. I want to go one year. Daddy's Dungeon does... Daddy's Dungeon does London. What about what about uh, Europe? Do you wanna? Witness? Um, I'd wanna go. I'd wanna go to Germany. I'd wanna see England. Is England part of Europe though? Yeah, it's part of Europe. So I'd wanna do England, Germany for sure, and Spain probably. I'm not a big fan of Italy. Why is that? You don't like the boot? Something about it. Just uh, I just don't wanna go. I just get a vibe right now. Wait, you you you're not a pizza guy. You don't like pizza. I don't, I don't know. Like I'm sure you'll enjoy it, but I feel like you'll miss the pepperoni. You know what I'm saying? Yes, pepperoni, big pepperoni. Because yes. there's some pizza like a marga- margarita pizza. <laughs> margarita, you know playing simple margarita. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes, totally. What what is that? What what does that have on it? It's just a uh, basil sauce and like. Gloops of cheese, so they'll put like fresh mozzarella here, here, and here, and they're kind of just like so. Some of the pizza don't even have cheese on it. You know what I'm saying? But don't you think if if they're really about their shit and that's what they're doing, it's good as fuck. That it'll it's a completely different thing, and it won't need the the pepperoni. It won't. But I'm saying I think you'll miss that. Think so? Yeah. Totally. I think you will be like, damn, I miss, I miss my pepperoni. I miss my triple pepperoni. Especially pizza. when they when they them curly ones and crunchy. Shout out Mount Mike's. They got the bestest fucking pepperonis. Yes, sir. You got to put some fucking epoxy on them bitches. Hold on the pizza better. I'll tell you that. I want to I wanna get the that app that Dave Portnoy has with his pizza. His pizza rankings. I want to try some of the places. Like which ones? So Do you like, have any in mind? I don't. Because I, I, don't, I don't have the list. But I know that like a six is like... I know a five is like, okay, this is like, you're at, he does that out of ten. A five is like your average, right? But a six is like, this is good, okay? Like, that's a solid pizza you could eat. Go ten buck pizza, just walk out, you know? Then, like, in the sevens, like, these are pretty goddamn good. Like, this is some good-ass pizza. Anything in the sevens is good. Eight is like, yo, that's wild. Like, this is like, you have to come get this pizza. For him to rank it at eight, it's fucking great. Okay, then you get nine is like legendary. So, legendary. So what's what's ten? See, can't the, even imagine what ten is. The problem is that he gave some tens out like early on, and he regrets it, because it was like he was super new to the to ranking to the pizza game. So he was like, "Oh, that's a 10. But he can't change the score now. Yeah, that's right. So I wonder if that ten is like a seven now or like a, a six. If they was really about it, their 10 would still be a 10. So there's some places that are like a 9-1, and it's like, damn, that's crazy. I want to try something like that. Heck yeah. How close is that to us? I have no idea. He goes all over the, the country doing doing pizza. So I wonder what our little local spots, how they would fare in those rankings. I know he has a name for it. Oh, One Bite. I think that's the app. And like each time he does a ranking, he'll put like a little, little map down on it with the ranking above it. So like we can get it. California. Chilling. And try it. What do you mean? So, like, you know Yelp? The little drop-down menu? And yeah. And you could, like, filter the results? So, what it is is, like, you know, like, you drop a pin on the map? Like, on your map, like, you drop a pin? Okay. It's, like, a bunch of pins of every spot he's been to. And oh, you click okay. it, and the ranking will pop up. Oh, sick. So, like, we go to California, and you kind of zoom in a little bit, the rankings will start showing. And he's been everywhere? He's been everywhere. Trying pizzas everywhere. Because he travels a lot for Barstool. Mm-hmm. So he'll just say, oh, I'm in this fucking state for this week. He'll go around and just do a bunch of pizza spots. What, what, what do you think he thinks about those um, Little Caesars, Papa John's, Domino's? He's done Costco. I think it Costco like a six or something. Something just right down the middle. Solid pizza. Yeah. That's solid pizza. He's like, hey, this is... Like a six is like... He kind of explains it as like, you know what you're going to get. It's not the best, but it gets the fucking job done. And you're happy with it. That's a good pizza. Absolutely. Costco's a good pizza. You know? Then you want a seven. What's a seven? What the fuck's a seven? I want a seven. What's a seven? Honestly, from, in my opinion, from Costco, a seven would be Papa John's. Oh, we're going off, like, our ranking? Yeah. Papa John's do got some dang pizza. It's a seven. It's like okay, a, so. Where's the Pizza Hut rank on yours? Pizza Hut. Uh, 
I had them recently. They were actually not too bad recently. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, like, six six five. Yeah, I would say that, too. I would rank them right above Costco. Yeah, around there. It's, that's great. Yeah. Papa John's could be a seven, and, like, if we're trying to, like, that. I think Domino's might be worse than Pizza Hut now. But I, I haven't really been to many, like, little niche pizza spots, you know what I mean? Yeah. So where do you rank Slice Gods? Oh, dude, Slice Gods. Well... That, I really liked the crust. The crust was amazing. I'm going to go ahead and give that a, like, 7, 8. And with ranch? No ranch. No fucking ranch. No I ranch. I still got to take you to Prince Street, brother. Yes, I want to try that as well. And I know there was this place in Santa Monica that I had um, a while back that I vividly remember, but I forget the name. It was fire. There was a specific pizza, the grandma pizza. Oh, yeah, we talked about it. I happened to drop the pizza on the floor. It got all scrambled in the box. Luckily, none of it touched the dirty Santa Monica concrete, right? But it was just a little scrambled, and we were good, and we were chilling. It was still a great pizza. But clumsy boy. But I forget the spot. So even if you looked up Santa Monica pizza, you, you, you'd be able to see it? I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to. You ready to go? Totally ready to go whenever you are. I'm ready. Let's jam, baby. This has been Daddy's Dungeon, episode 114. It's been a pleasure. Be here next week and every week. Like, comment, subscribe, Especially share. Especially next week. Tap in. Yes, sir. Tap in.